Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. Last time we left off, we, we began our very first mission within the organization, and it was just to simply find a chest. Easy enough, but we actually got the concepts of missions now, and well, I hope you guys understand it now. So let's go ahead and talk to Syax and get this mission along with Marluxia. So, yes, I'm ready to go. Yeah, we're back in Twilight Town. Seems like we're in the Sandlot area, I believe. Roxas, was it? I never properly introduced myself. I am Marluxia, number 11. Actually, wait, was that number 11? Yes, yeah, so... My room numerals are pretty stupid sometimes. Okay, <clears throat> Okay, so what do I have to do today? Today, your job is to collect hearts. Um, how do I do that? Roxas, could you summon your Keyblade for me? Well, sure, alright. See? Boom. Lucky number 13. At last, a chosen wielder of the Keyblade amongst our ranks. Shadows! Whoa, what are those? Hmm. Nothing to be feared. So, Roxas, shall we put that power of yours to a little test? Use your Keyblade, and defeat those Heartless. Alright, so now, we begin our fighting. So you press A to attack with the Keyblade, and keep pressing A, and you do a combo. Like any other Kingdom Hearts game. Let's go ahead and get this started. Yeah. Ah, no, oh, oh, jeez, what's... Alright, ooh, uh, there's an item I missed, okay. And see, these are the prizes I've pretty much told you about. So, H green is the HP, so it restores HP. Yellow are the money, or your cash. And prize boxes, well, they have your items. And let me grab the item. And it's another potion. That's good. And let me grab this money just in case as well. And that's that. Good. Those Heartless are called Shadows. But what are Heartless? Dark creatures who roam about searching for hearts. They come in two larger varieties. The ones you just defeat are known as Pure Bloods. Pure bloods don't realize it release any hearts when you defeat them. In other words, don't bother with them. Your mission is to collect hearts after all. The other variety are these types. These are the yellow operas. Hmm. Is right over there. Forget about the shadows. Take these out, Roxas. They are your real targets. And these yellow operas are, these are uh, different types of, um, Heartless, as I'll explain in a little bit. So you can rapidly press R twice to lock onto an enemy, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Uh, you can cycle to the, uh, next, uh, next target by pressing the R again, or you can just exit off by, you know, pressing it twice again. So, let me just... There we go. Easy, like, easy as that. As you can see, once we fight, our mission gauge goes up. Easy as that. Now, we have, you see like some of like chains and all that? Uh, they'll explain it. Those are what we call Emblem Heartless. Why are they so special? Did you not notice? Hearts appeared when you defeated them. Right. Your job is to collect those hearts. And, like I said, a heart appears when you defeat certain types of Heartless. You can use these heart points at the shop. So that's why you want to defeat Heartless. Is there any trick to it? None. So long as the Heartless are felled by your weapon, the Keyblade, the, your, the hearts will be captured. I see. And what happens to the hearts I collect? They will gather as one and create an almighty force known as Kingdom Hearts. Which is... good, right? Completing Kingdom Hearts is the organization's primary objective. And to do that, we need all the hearts we can possibly find. So, that's what the organization does. Collect hearts? Actually, you are the first of us to accomplish it. Wait, then... The rest of us can defeat Heartless, but we have no way of collecting the hearts they release. Eventually, the hearts will turn right back into the Heartless. You see, then, how special you are. Hmm... With power like yours... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, man, that's a lot of them. Oh, six of them, not that bad. Heh. 
Here comes more of them. Each one is a gift, Roxas. Squeeze every last heart out of them. Well, that sounds kind of graphic, but sure, why the hell not? Now, here's the concept of chaining. Defeat enemies to start a chain. While chaining, a ring of light appears around whenever whenever enemy you lock onto. I believe you guys have been noticing that when I when I fought my last battle. The ring shrinks over time and disappears. Keep hitting the enemies to make it bigger. And defeating the enemies during a chain will earn you bonus heart points. What's more, if you keep a chain going long enough, your heart count will begin to flash. Your chain becomes becomes unbreakable during these times, giving you a chance to collect tons of hearts. Yeah, I'm gonna try doing that, but if I, if I suck at it, then... Oh well. It, come on, come down here! Alright, see? Now I'm, I'm starting to chain. See? Look at that. That's cool. Get those bonuses. It's... See? And it's easy like that. And the mission's complete. There's no bonus, bonus objectives this time around. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Excellent, Roxas. Your work today is done. I am amazed. Like that keyblade. The things that could be done with that sort of power. Um. I have high hopes for you, Roxas. As do we all. Defeat the Heartless and help the organization reach our noble goal. Um. All right. Shall we RTC then? Sure. Why not? We got nothing else here. Oh, well, we can grab. Well, I was gonna say we can grab that money, but you know, whatever. So there's nothing here we can grab. Like there's no chest or whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead and RTC. Nothing else to do here. And for doing this mission, we got uh, another potion and these. So it's all good. And that was how I found out the organization's goal. So they wanted to collect these heart, these things called hearts. I didn't know what a heart was or how it even mattered, but at least I knew what my part was. Well, there you go. Day ten, incomplete. Good morning, Roxas. I shall be joining you on your mission today. Take care of what you need, what you need to, and then check in with Syax. I'm all ready to go. Alrighty. So pretty much every single time, um, before a mission starts, I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and talk to these people. See, sometimes they give you items, sometimes they give you whatever. He has nothing to say because he's like a strong, quiet type. If you're finished preparing, you need to report to Syax, not me. You're just reading a book. Ugh. Okay. And more Lucia. The Keyblade's wielder, the Keyblade wielder's power. How fascinating. All right. Is that it? Okay. All right. We'll start a new mission then. And let's head out. And once again, we're back here in um, Twilight Town. I believe we're gonna keep coming back here for a little while. Basically, these are just all tutorial missions. So, your mission today is to eliminate a set quantity of Heartless. The organization may call upon you to meet other objectives, perform recon, for example. But regardless of the task you have been given, your primary orders still hold. You and that Keyblade you are served us best by collecting hearts. So even if I'm given another job, I should keep taking out Heartless while I do it? Correct. Today, however, the two happily co co coincide. So, let's see here. Now, these are explained mission objectives, so we have, there's a variety of objectives we're going to keep going on regarding these missions, and it's shown at the touch screen, right there. And, of course, is the map. Um, enemies in the, in the area also show up in the map, so that will definitely help us out when we need it. It appears like little white dots, so... And is that it? Okay, so we have to learn about our field duties, and there's also one... Uh, treasure chest here, and our information is to defeat seven heartless. Okay, we can do that. So I, th yeah, okay. So yeah, they do appear on Mac. I thought they would just like um, I thought they would appear later on, but no. Okay, if I can just grab this one, that'll be great. All right. And oh, what is that? Oh, it's those dire plants. I hate those things. If I can just grab it. Are you really gonna attack with that book of yours? Ugh. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to see where the hell that treasure chest is at. 
man, because I'm yeah, we already know where the heartless are at, but oh hey, might as well do a little looking around. Alright, so there's two more heartless right here. Of three. Oh my god, I can't see apparently. And there we go. Uh, so that was six so far. Hmm. I know there's our our heartless is behind us, but where the hell is that treasure chest? It's probably up in a building somewhere. Ugh. That's why I hate sometimes. You know, you kind of just gotta keep looking around and ah, whatever. Let's just go ahead and grab this heartless, and the mission is technically done right here. And you see, the mission bar is green, but. We'll explain it right here. All done. I defeated a number of heartless. You said. Now we can go. We can get uh, get to RTC, right? Leave already? I, for one, would apply myself a bit more. But I. Yes, yes. You did as you were asked. Mission accomplished. But as you can plainly see, there are still heartless wandering about. You don't have to eliminate them all. It's your choice. Just like I don't have to respect you for slinking, slinking back to the castle while there's still work to be done. And if that doesn't matter to you, then just remember organization rewards those who make the extra effort. So yeah, basically you would like to do um, a bonus objective so you get better stuff with it. Make progress toward your objective and a mission gauge will fill. Reach the goal line and it's mission complete. But why stop there? Fill the gauge all the way and it could pay off. No, it definitely will pay off. You just you get more experience, you get more hearts, you know, all the heart points, items, uh, money. Yeah, it's there's it's all there's a many reasons that you should go ahead and go for the bonus objectives. There's practically no reason. I mean, why the hell not? Uh, the, oh, here's a church. That's good. I was gonna check down. I forgot to check down here anyway. Uh, Alright, we got a potion. Alright, so all we gotta do is just, um, if you want, you can RTC, but no, 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 I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get the rest of these, uh, Heartless. And pretty much these videos are probably gonna take longer because I'm probably gonna be hunting down the bonus objectives and whatnot. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, it was up there and I fell. Actually, where, where, where am I doing now? Try to find the other. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a group of them in here. All right. Now I'll go back up and get the rest. I should get a good bonus for being in here. Hopefully. Um. Oh well, damn! He kind of took my bonus. Actually, what the hell did he get hit? I. Don't, why did we get hit? I guess that was like an after effect. Ah, oh, whatever. And that last heartless is up there in a the building, so I'm gonna have to kind of take a lo lo little longer way. Well, not too long, but you know, still. So the game, yeah, it might just take a little while because of what I'm doing here, you know, like, um, just going around doing the bonus stuff, and, you know, you don't, like I say, you don't have to do it, but it's beneficial if you do. So let's go ahead and just kill this, and boom. Now, we've, we're done. So now we can just go ahead and RTC. Much better. I trust you'll exhibit equal diligence in your missions going forward. Alright, now that the mission's over, do you have any questions? Yeah, um... Just what is Kingdom Hearts? Marluxia said it was some kind of... a force. Yes. And when I defeat the Heartless, those hearts pop out and become part of the Kingdom Hearts, right? But, like, what's the point? Kingdom Hearts will complete us. That's the organization's goal. Complete us? Complete us how? Roxas, you and I are all the organization and all the organization members are what we call nobodies. Well, that's not very nice. With a capital N to name for those of us who are missing a vital piece of who we are. Our hearts. I don't have a heart? Correct. Like all of us, you enter the world without one, but you can help us get them. Kingdom Hearts is made of the very things we lack, a multitude of hearts. It has a power to complete us. Are you starting to see why you're so important? Each of us has a vital role in our organization. 
Yours is collecting hearts. Yeah, I get it. Well, I just hope we can count on you to get it done. Any more questions? No. Sorry. Well, then we should go- we should be getting back. Come on. Alright. Easy as that, guys. And... Let's see what bonus stuff we got. Yeah, ooh, we got fire! Well, I think fire comes with it, but we need it. It's magic that shoots a homing ball of flame. Ignite an enemy to sap more HP. Pretty awesome. Alright. I found out that I was a nobody. That I was incomplete. Just like the rest of them, I came to the world without a heart. Would it have made a difference? If I had a heart, would that make me somebody? Day 11. Keyblade. Wonder what's going to happen today. Roxas, Larkseen will be your partner today. Oh, shoot me now. Larkseen. Right. Um. Yeah, I don't want to be with her. She already left. Meet her on sight. Oh, all right. This time, we expect you to try out magic for a change instead of relying solely on the Keyblade. Magic? I know magic? Only if you arm yourself with some before you leave for the mission. See me when you're ready. What do you mean, arm myself? Well, now we get the tutorial on the panels. You can now select panels from the main menu. Panels allow you to customize your abilities. You can only access your panels before missions, so make them part of your daily routine. And trust me, I will be doing that a bunch of times. Uh, before we actually do those real quick, let me just talk to the people here. <laughs> Interesting. So much to inspect, to dissect. Yeah, he scares me. Uh, what do you have to say? Get practicing so you can make yourself useful. Uh, shut up. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our panels here. Okay, installing panels. Install panels you obtain in slots in order to power yourself up. Move panels from your stock in the right side of the screen to the slot window on the left. Install panels will give you new abilities or increase your level, HP, or other st stats. Panels will come in all varieties. Find a panel arrangement that works best for you. Having trouble with a mission? Well, don't, for don't be afraid to press start and withdraw. You can always try again, and sometimes a simple change to your panels can make all the difference. And sometimes it really does. So, here we are. Actually, this, this, are, this is our panels menu right here. There's actually a quick button. I think you press Y, but I think you go directly to it. So, as you can see, um, we can sort through our panels, too, right here. Um, it's easy enough to just go through all, in my opinion. These are just going to be um, some items, so you cannot actually equip them. But, fire... We can go ahead and put that in our ability, our our window here. So, so now we can actually have use one fire. So why the hell not do we just use all of them? So let me just go ahead and put those all in. There we go. And you can also put items in here too. So let's just put two potions. And that's basically how you um, use abilities and all that. You have to equip it to your panel window. And now you can see that now we ins install the fire panel, we have fire level 1. So, that's about it, I believe. Um, and when they got no entries, uh, actually I believe they have they have enemy profiles, so, you know, we've already seen this. It also tells you the items that drop, so take a look at that if you want. Uh, yeah, I, bet, so I probably won't be going through that, but, you know, hey. So, yeah, I believe we got the gist of it down now. Panels basically just customize your stats and all that. And you basically want to be doing that every time you get something new or anytime you have a new mission. You're constantly going to be rearranging it. And this is, it just gets, for me, it gets confusing because like, there's so much that happens for, uh, you know, you know, by the time the middle of the game comes around, there's like so much you can customize and whatnot. I just choose whatever I hell I want to. I'm sure there's going to be way better combinations out there. But don't forget, I am the one playing this game. It's my choice anyway. So, if I mess out on something, then, you know, whatever. Um, I'll still get by, you know. Ugh. That's basically it. So, 
Uh, yeah, I, that's all for today. So next time we're gonna go ahead and start that mission of Lark Scene, unfortunately, and we'll we'll be using some magic. So as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over Two. I'll see you guys later.